Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Builder Simulator. Yes, in the chain of construction, you start off with a client who wants to build something. Let's say a building. They hire an overpriced architect who creates a design that might look nice, but it doesn't work in the slightest. Then the civil engineers come on board and they fix the design so you can actually build it before the builders get the drawings and they turn what's on a piece of paper into something real. Now, just like I have a massive disrespect for architects, <laughs> builders generally have one for us engineers as well. So to broaden my horizon and try and work out what possible reason they could have for not liking us, I've decided to play this. So hopefully I can make their job easier in the future. And look at this. Our mouse is a little trowel. We can do some pointing of this wall or something. Right, anyway, let's get into this. This is just a demo. What the frick is this? He's got a cement mixer on his back. Oh, his name is Bill Durr. Get it? Bill Durr. Gotta love a punny name. Right, so first up, we've been given this little area in some kind of abandoned swimming pool, but okay. Now we've got to build some foundations. So first off, we're going to go into here. We're going to select the shovel. Boing, there it is. And then we're going to give this a bit of a dig. So foundations are just like the concrete that your building sits on. Uh, and for these foundations, it looks like we're doing a strip foundation. The architect would have had no idea what it was, but the engineer would have specified a hole of a certain size and certain strength concrete. And then the builder probably would have tried to cheap out and either dig it smaller or use weaker concrete. But right, there is the last bit. All right, so this is like the, the build menu. Look at all these different things we can buy. It's in partition walls, it's not just the wall part. We've got the plasterboard, we've got the rock wall, concrete blocks, insulation, and for bearing walls, you've got the hollow blocks. They're just like light bricks, they're hollow. Uh, lintels, that's for like doors and windows. But we're interested in the foundation, so we're going to buy some formwork. This is just like bits of wood, essentially, that allow you to pour your concrete in, and it will keep the shape. So we've been told to buy a hundred of those. And we also need rebar. Now, we know all about rebar from Infra. This is generally what you can see on every single building in that game. Right, and you can see the formwork goes in there. That basically lines the edge of our hole we just dug. So if we press one, you can literally see it's just it's just bits of wood. So we can place these in. You can do it one by one, or you can hold down and just wob. If only you could do it this fast in real life, eh? Then the final stretch, and we are done. So next up, you can see in there, we got to put our reinforced steel bars. Now, the engineer would have come up with how thick the bars need to be, the spacings, all sorts of stuff. And it's just up to the builder to put them together. So can you see, like, if you zoom way into, like, the joint, can you see, like, they're sort of tied together with wire? Now, very important to do that. So when you pour the concrete, it doesn't move anywhere. Now, I have to say, builders generally tend to avoid doing that if they can. But uh, we can plonk these in. And what happens is, as we come and pour the concrete afterwards, this will give the concrete lots of strength that it otherwise would wouldn't have had. Right, so all the rebar is in now. So we're going to come over to the wheelbarrow. Someone's already poured some concrete in there. So we're going to grab this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. And then we're going to pour. Nice. Oh, this is easy. You can just pour while going along. <laughs> I love how it pours in like individual places like yeah we literally just missed a hole there so we better come back and pour yeah it can't go too fast because we get we get holy foundation so we've got to slowly pour this in thankfully our concrete isn't going down we're still at 100% so and final little bits right so we complete that now we're on to the next tutorial they're showing us how to make concrete because in this level our wheelbarrow is completely empty we ought to do it ourselves so we've got a mixer here we've got sand we've got cement put them together in here with a bit of water you get concrete. So we'll turn this on. All right, so to use the sand, we're going to come to our shovel and we're going to scoop a bit in. Nice. And you can see the bar at the top. The more shovels we put in, the more sand that goes. And you can see that sloshing around. Look at that. That's well cool. So loads of sand. I'm not sure why we've turned the thing on already, but the tutorial made me. So I guess builders know best. The last thing you want is an engineer telling you how to do a job. Right. Let's pick up the cement bag. And you see we've just sliced that open with our trowel. If you're ever going to be like a laborer or builder on site, like the new guy, you've never done it before. Beware if the builders ask you to do like weights with a bag of cement. They'll ask you to like hold it above your head. They'll say, you can't do it. There's no way you can do it. And you'll be like, yeah, I can. And then you'll push it above your head. And then while you're standing there all proud, some will sneak up behind you and they'll cut it open. And then you'll get a hair full of cement and you'll be a laughing stock and you'll probably end up on YouTube. So word of warning, <laughs> I want to look out for my fellow builders. Oh, I should have started this with hello fellow builders, not hello fellow engineers. Anyway, let's get this in there. So we're just 
pour in this until the cement bar is full. So next up, we're just adding a little bit of water. It's down here, we've got a bucket of water. And I, li I like how gravity works on this. So you can see the water sloshing around in there, but we can look straight down and it's fine. We can check out my boots, check out my safety gear. I've got steel toe caps, good, good. I've got, I've got a hammer in my left pocket. All right, anyway, let's shove some water in. And now there's a bar going up, 69, 80%, and we're done. All right, so we just select that we want to make concrete over here. Oh, I've just been told, bloody builders always trying to find a shortcut. You can literally just press this auto button and it makes concrete for you. You don't have to add everything yourself. Lazy, lazy, lazy builders. All right, so next up, we've just got to move the wheelbarrow over there. So we go wheelbarrow and it ends up over there. Nice. And then we just pour the concrete out by using this handle on the side. We give it a little pour and there's our concrete. Nice. All right, so we're where we left off the very first tutorial. So we've got our concrete foundation poured. Now we've just got to select our shovel. We've got to dig the floor out. Now, thankfully, as we are pros with the shovel, we can do this in just a few scoops. Uh, that is very impressive. Fair play. All right, and there we go. All right, so next up, we've got to put like a little base layer of sand for our screed to sit on. So we're going to grab that. And we're going to do that. Yeah, but that will take ages. So, if, But if we put the sand in the wheelbarrow first, we can then just pour it. And look how much quicker that is. Nice. Perfect layer. All right, so you can see we've put a geotextile under there. I'm not sure if the game actually went into that much detail. It might do later on. This is just tutorial. But basically, we've got sand. Then we've got that impermeable membrane, which means the concrete will sit on that. It won't seep through. And then we need to go into the store and we need to buy some reinforcement, as you can see. So, grid reinforcement. And again, this is just rebar. You can see it's been tied together. Well, actually, these ones have been welded at the end. Already pre-made. But yeah, essentially, we just plonk these down everywhere. And this will make a very strong floor slab. So, we'll go over to the wheelbarrow where they've handily prepared us some concrete already. And then... Oh, God. I'm really bad with the wheelbarrow. You can tell I'm I'm not a builder. I'm an engineer. But then we just we just fill this in. Just pour the concrete out. Generally, you'd come back with like like a wooden sort of batter thing to try and flatten this all out. Yeah, but it looks like on this we can literally just pour it wherever we want, and it works perfectly. All right, so now that's done. We're gonna buy some floor insulation. So we've bought those. We literally just grab them. You can see it's literally just like sheets of polystyrene basically, and we just plonk that down everywhere, and that will make sure our feet stay nice and warm. There we go. Next up, more concrete goes on top. Give this a pour. We can pour higher than the foundation. I don't even, I don't understand how this works. Where's the form work for this game? The last few bits. Nice. All right, so from this bit of the tutorial, we're building the external load bearing walls. All right, so we're in bearing walls. We've just bought 100 hollow blocks, and these are what go around the edge. Next up, we want to head over to our wheelbarrow, which is filled with mortar, not concrete this time. Uh, basically, that just has more cement in it than sand. Uh, we can select our trout, and then we can just grab some mortar onto it. All right, and then next up, we place a bit of mortar, and then we can place a hollow block on top. Nice. I don't know if you saw that little bar there, but that meant we leveled up. And the more you level up in this game, the quicker you can build things, which is very nice. So if we trow two of these now, we can now place two blocks at once. I think we leveled up again, so surely not. Surely we can't do all three in one go. Oh, look at that. We built a pyramid. All right, so obviously once you start building up your wall, you're going to be quite high in the air, so we need some scaffolding. So we can head into the scaffolding part of the menu, or we can place some scaffolding down. Yeah, this scaffolding looks very, very realistic. Fair play. Although this is not how scaffolding works in the UK. You don't have bolts going through. You just have like weird clip things. But uh, let's go up and assess our building from up here. Oh, look at it. Doesn't it look like a nice building? It looks so terrible. But just like that, we've built the entire building. And now we can place some lintels for our windows and doors. So if we press number two, we have a lintel in our hand and we can literally just plock. And there is the door completed. And then you can just carry on building bricks above that. And the way these lintels work, it's essentially all the weight above that. So all the bricks that we carry on building, the weight just comes down onto the lintel and it gets taken along and it will come down here to the floor into our foundation. All right, so let's go back up our scaffolding and have a little look at what we've done. Nice. So we need a few more lintels and then a few more bricks. And there we go. The building is ready for some ceiling blocks. So we'll head in here. I wouldn't recommend you place these blocks directly from underneath. Like not really sure how that is staying in place, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it would actually make you do that, make you build things properly using a bit of physics, but oh well. All right, so ceiling block's done. We got to dismantle the scaffolding. So we select our drilling machine and we literally just wob. <laughs> that was far too fun. Let's do this one. Oh no, the tutorial finished. All right, so now we can buy some windows and doors. So let's head back into our shop, head to windows, doors, etc. And we're going to buy an outside door. All right, so let's wang a door in. You can see, <laughs> not quite right. We've got to use our spirit level to get it flat. So there we go. We've hung a door successfully. I'm not sure what it's 
hung into. There you go. We've done, we've done the frame. There is a frame. It's okay. Are we meant to screw into hollow blocks? I'm not sure about that. But okay, this is what the game's telling me to do. So screw that in. This drill was really well used, by the way. It's like covered in dust and grime. Very, very accurate. All right, then we're just adding some wedges to make sure this frame doesn't go anywhere. One down there. Now the door is on. Look at that. We can close it. All right, so next up, we've got to do the windows. So let's buy a window. Buy. And then we're going to place that over here. Oh, no, it's wonky again. <laughs> this is one of Picasso's windows. So there we go. Give it a little rotate and it's all good. So next up, we're going to head inside the house with our screwdriver. We're going to screw this in to the walls. See, I'm, I'm really not convinced you can just screw a screw into these hollow blocks. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm being an engineer and overthinking it. But still, let's let's get these wedges in. All right, so you can see they've automatically put the foam around the edge. That's just to fill in all gaps. We don't want a drafty window. And then we've just got a windowsill that we've got to level off. There we go. And this one on the outside. Lovely jubbly. So now we can place that in there. Place that in there. Look at that. All right, so with the window done, patio windows done. Well, patio doors, technically. Uh, we're going to do some partition walls, some internal walls. So we're in the shop. We're going to go down to partition walls. And we're going to buy some profiles. This will allow us to shape where we want our walls to go. So here we go. We place one on the floor down there. And that's where our wall is going to go. And then there's just drill this into the floor. And we do the same in the ceiling. Screw that in. Screw that in. And then we just do the same for all of these. And this is what our plasterboard is going to attach to. Now in the UK, generally, these profile things, they're made out of wood. I'm not sure what material this is. It looks like plasticky material. But yeah, that is done. We're now going to buy some plasterboard. We're going to plasterboard that plasterboard that and then we just got to screw these in all right so with one side of the wall this side isn't done yet we've got to buy some insulation and in this game the insulation of choice is rock wool so we're gonna buy a few little bits of that so we grab our rock wool and we just shove it in the gaps and then we can plasterboard the outsides plasterboard that edge grab our screwdriver screw these in and there we go that is the plasterboard wall completed but over here we're gonna build a concrete wall so in the shop we're buying this damp proof insulation we're just gonna place that on the floor where we want the wall to go. All right, and now it's ready for some mortar on top. So we're going to go to our wheelbarrow, which is already pre-filled with mortar. Here it is. We're going to grab our trowel and then we just scoop it up. And in this game, stop you running back and forth. Once it's on the trowel, it's always on the trowel. So we can literally just lay them down and we don't have to worry. But we do need to worry about buying enough blocks and lintels to build this thing. So back to the shop once again, we're going to buy a load of concrete blocks and a load of lintels. And then we can just keep building up. So concrete blocks, back to the trowel to put more mortar on top more concrete blocks we've leveled up so we can do two at a time oh yeah more mortar more blocks and then we get to the point where we can't really see so we're going to grab this step ladder and we're going to place it there so now we're a bit higher we can just carry on doing this carry on doing that and now we're ready for our lintel because that's where our door is going to go so if we go to lintel place it in there lovely and then final bit of concrete along and then final bit of mortar along the top last few blocks and there it is all right and now our hard work is complete we've been told to destroy the partition wall with a sledgehammer. So we select the sledgehammer and we uh, give it a boost. Holy crap. Whoa. <laughs> That was fun. All right, so this time we've, we've got a hole. We've got a hole in our roof. And um, we're going to place some stairs. So we're going to buy some stairs. So there we go. They are bought. Then we select them and we say build. And then we got stairs and we can literally go up to the top. All right, but now we're up here. We've been told they're the wrong type of stairs. So back to the sledgehammer and we're going to give them a whack. Boosh, they are gone. So these were actually the right stairs we we're meant to buy. And they are in. They look identical to me, but what do I know? All right, so our house looks pretty good, but it's missing a roof. It's a bit Minecrafty at the moment. So we're going to buy a roof in the shop and we're gonna buy a hip roof blueprint all right so now if we select that look we have a roof and we can change the angle we can make it flat we can make it really steep i'm guessing that's about normal but i want to go super tall because bigger is better confirm that's what she said <laughs> oh man i'm having flashbacks to when my roof got nicked <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad that's over. Roof's bane of my life for quite a long time. Oh, but still, we'll build this one properly. We'll show you what a guy that took my money should have done. So he should have gone into roof beams and bought a couple hundred of those. And then he should have put some scaffolding up. And then when you're on the roof, we can go into those roof beams and we can literally just place them everywhere. Because no, these don't get screwed or nailed together. They literally just get placed. <laughs> Can't believe we had to screw windows in, but not the... This is all just the power of balance. So we do all the edges, all the vertical bits, all the horizontal bits. Oh, and we've been locked in. Oh, no. No. 
uh, Mr. Builder, we, we're trapped. <laughs> right, I don't think you were meant to finish this roof while you were on the ceiling slab. Uh, we're, we're literally trapped. There, I don't think there's a way out. It wants me to buy roof tiles. So, okay, we'll buy some roof tiles. <laughs> Put tiles on the roof. Um, how? I'm trapped inside it. I'm surprised it's light in here, actually. I thought it would be pitch black. Oh, we're literally, we're stuck. Anyway, I just sent a bug report to the devs. Hopefully they'll send some help and I'll be out of here in a jiffy. All right, good old devs. They got me out. They got me out. Now we just need to tile the thing. Bloody hell. How many... How many ridge tiles do you want on there? All right, so anyway, grab the tiles. We can do all the ridge tiles in one. Interesting. Oh, and look, we don't even place these one by one. We literally do a whole load. I tell you what, it doesn't work like that in real life. We can do the ridge tiles, do the main tiles. Oh, what is that? That's a little bit we missed. And yeah, basically how tiles work, you literally... Well, that's actually... That's very wrong looking at this. Can you see, like, how these tiles are overlapped? That literally wouldn't be watertight in the slightest. The way roof tiles work is they overlap. So the ones above overlap the ones beneath so that as water runs down it literally just falls down your tile all the way down uh, and then drips into your gutter whereas these ones you can see the water would land there go like that and it would hit that ridge that edge and it would just seep into the building so whether that's the builder's fault or whether that's the game dev don't know i'm probably going to blame the builder because they'd probably blame it on us well actually more accurately it's probably the architect's fault the architect's probably yep yeah, this looks way better i don't know why everyone doesn't do it like that all right then we've just got one more side to do and we are done look at that but yeah then at the end of the demo it gives you this lovely option where we can build whatever we want so we can design and then build our very own house so we've got some load bearing walls here we can add windows so you can plonk windows in there we can even we can scale these so we can make them really long got a big window in there lovely and then we can add part Partition walls like that. And of course, these need internal doors. And you can choose whether you want them to open inside or outside. So I think we'll do open inside. We can do all sorts of partition walls. We can do an external door. We can even do things like paths. We can have a path going down there. And look, there's even swimming pools. But that's a very efficient housing design, I think. I cannot wait to build this in the final game. But yes, we'll save that as the strongest building. And I feel like I've earned a new respect for builders. Not that I didn't respect them before. I just didn't realize how bad they had it because while they're out in the rain doing all the hard graft us engineers are usually inside keeping dry but anyway on that bombshell and i sound like jeremy clarkson uh, i'll catch you guys next time peace love and builders bye guys